When Constantine asked if I would like to come up to his apartment to hear some balalaika records, I smiled to myself. My mother had always told me never under any circumstances to go with a man to a man's rooms after an evening out. It could mean only one thing. I am very fond of balalaika music, I said. And of course, all of this was before the pill, which changed everything. The women were really, and Sylvia just said, you know, it's all very well for you to take this position, but I have to consider the possibility of pregnancy. I went to the window and he threw the blind and asked him to tell me what was on his heart. He said, oh, honey. Suddenly, after I finished a poem, he said, Esther, have you ever seen a man? The way he said it, I knew he didn't mean a regular man or a man in general. I knew he meant a man naked. No, I said, only statues. Well, don't you think you would like to see me? I didn't know what to say. All I'd heard about really was how fine and clean Buddy was and how he was the kind of person a girl should stay fine and clean for. So I didn't really see the harm in anything Buddy would think up to do. Well, all right, I guess so, I said. I stared at Buddy while he unzipped his chino pants and took them off and laid them on a chair and then took off his underpants that were made of something like nylon fishnet. They're cool, he explained. And my mother always says they wash easily. Then he just stood there in front of me and I kept on staring at him. The only thing I could think of was turkey neck and turkey gizzards. And I felt very depressed. The only alternative I could see was an eternity of hell for the rest of my life in a mental hospital. And I was going to make use of my last ounce of free choice and choose a quick, clean, ending. Suicide saved from seven-story ledge. After two hours on a narrow ledge, seven stories above a concrete parking lot and gathered crowds, Mr. George Polucci let himself be helped to safety through a nearby window by Sergeant Will Kilmartin of the Charles Street Police Force. The trouble about jumping was that if you didn't pick the right number of stories, you might still be alive when you hit the bottom. I thought seven stories must be a safe distance. I immediately recognized some of the people in the book. Because it was a little bit uh, rough on some of them, I was glad that I wasn't included in it. <laughs> I thought it was a very funny book, and I wasn't sure I was supposed to find it funny, but... It was Sylvia representing her younger, younger self, and I thought it fit the way we were at that time. 